Ski was supposed to join us today as well, but unfortunately ha he has other obligations to attend to. But anyways, hello, Mr. Locke and Mr. Hobbs. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm assuming both of you are familiar with the present day racial situation. Let's start with John Locke. What do you think about the circumstances of minorities, specifically black people, in America today? I believe that the racial circumstances are terrible and must be changed. I understand that this country was founded during a time of white superiority, but everyone should have the rights to life, liberty, and property. Currently, black people are unable to make it through each day without fearing for their lives and are regularly stripped of their liberty. Yes, good point. What do you think, Mr. Hobbs? While I also agree that the system's unjust, people should have seen this coming. People are born naturally evil and selfish. They're not concerned about other struggles if it doesn't affect them. Montesquieu would agree with the, with the idea that government should step in, and he would also say that checks and balances should be used to ensure that the three branches of government don't abuse their power. Hmm, interesting point. My next question is, do you think the government is responsible for supporting social justice? Yes, due to the, my idea of the social contract, the government is in charge of protecting people's basic rights. Since they are failing to do so, they should be replaced immediately. Since people have bad intentions, the government needs to be a lot more in control of the country. Everyone was given too much of a say, and now look where we are. It's 2020, and black people are still oppressed. Ridiculous. I'd also like to add that Montesquieu would expect the government to check each other's authority more effectively because clearly they are not doing their civil duty. How do you think the situation would differ if there was an anti-federalist federalist government today? An anti-federalist government is the worst idea I've ever heard. If states are given individual powers, each one of the 50 states would need to be overlooked to ensure they aren't abusing people's rights. A federalist government is so much more effective because the people in power are able to unify and make overall decisions to keep the whole country in check. An anti-federalist government might work depending on if each state believes in social justice, but having a federal government, in my opinion, is a better idea due to government officials having less opportunities to divide the people. Montesquieu would probably be open to the idea of either an anti-federalist or federalist government as long as the power is being distributed among multiple branches, therefore requiring the uses of checks and balances. This would help hold people in power accountable for their social decisions. Do you think that the modern-day oppression of minorities relates to King George's oppression of colonists back in the day? Yes, the treatment of people of color parallels King George's idea of authoritative superiority. I also think that King George's grievance of depriving colonists of a fair trial relates to many minorities not being given equal protection under the law or the right to equal representation within the legal system. Montesquieu would be horrified by the abuse of power in the administration of unfair justice without intervention by the other two branches. Okay, well that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having us.